there is one particular essay which I think stands out in the book. And that's the essay right in the middle um, dealing with uh, the Canadian, the French Canadian writer, writer Gabrielle Roy. Uh, she's a very prominent writer here in Canada, one of Canada's greatest writers actually. And there's a chapter of her biography uh, that deals with his, her fellow citizens, the Ukrainian Canadians. In 1938, she went to Europe, a young woman and an actress, and she went to study uh, acting in, in London. And there she met a young Ukrainian-Canadian from Alberta by the name of Stephen Davidovich. Uh, they fell in love. They fell in love instantly. It was a very passionate affair. But one day he disappeared, and she had no idea why he disappeared. It turns out that uh, when he came back, about a month later, and showed up her, at her door. Um, they had a long conversation. They went for a walk, sat down on a park bench, and he poured his heart out to her. He couldn't tell her everything because, he said, the more he told her, the more it would put her life in danger. He was working underground for the Ukrainian Organization of Nationalists, the OUN, it is sometimes called. And... Uh, he could he that was the reason why he had disappeared he was called away suddenly on work for this organization and uh what he didn't tell her well perhaps i should say firstly that um it didn't quite work out after that she she couldn't quite he had changed and she had changed after that terrible experience and though they tried it it didn't work out but what he did not tell her and probably it was good that he, that he didn't tell her that. And we know that he didn't tell her because shortly before she died, she wrote her, her memoirs, and she only gave his first name and didn't say anything about this. But the reason why he was call, called to Europe was because of the assassination of Eugene Konovalets, Yevhen Konovalets, who was the head of the Ukrainian organization of nationalists, who was assassinated in Rotterdam in the spring of 1938. So... Um, the organization wanted him to go investigate and find out who had done this and why. Um, we know now that this career of this uh, Ukrainian, uh, this uh, French Canadian woman, who in 19, uh, 1939, when the war broke out, eventually returned to Canada, moved to Montreal, uh, became a novelist. In 1945, became a world-famous novelist with the publication of her first book. And um, we know now that this political event in Ukrainian history helped to cause her to abandon uh, a career as an actress and become um, a writer. And so Canadian literature, in a way, French Canadian literature indeed, is linked to Ukrainian history through this particular event. And this, to me, I think was a great discovery. Um, nobody had ever talked about this before. She didn't know it herself. She died without knowing it, I believe. And uh, it was known to a small circle of Ukrainians in Toronto, some of whom I met and interviewed, and uh, even uh, were, were fair, fairly good friends with. Um, but outside of that circle, the world as a whole didn't know. And I was able to put it together and... Uh, tell this story. So I think that's a very uh, original contribution uh, to both Canadian history, history of Canadian literature, and also to the history of the Ukrainian national movement in Europe. 